Okay, let's talk about one of the, to me, really one of the coolest things about the NetExpert XG. It's a qualifier, not a certifier. Certification will never go away. But certification is more complicated, in our opinion, when it comes to testing. One of the, the benefits of qualifying a cable is that you do not have to worry about the exact link definition when you're testing. In other words, are you testing for a permanent link? Are you testing a channel? Is it an MPTL? Is it E2E? Is it a patch cord? Essentially, the NetExpert XG does not care. It's simply testing whatever you connect to it to one gig, 10 gig speeds. It does not matter. So here at our booth, we have a few simulated runs here. We have some actual permanent links. You can see the patch panel side here, going through the cable tray on the top to some TOs over here, right? But we also have a number of very commonly run MPTL segments. So we've got the patch panel on the opposite side coming to a mod plug on this side. And that's the type of setup that a lot of people use to run to cameras or wireless access points in today's infrastructure. So if I'm certifying, I have to get into the tester settings and I have to change those every single time I move from a permanent link to an MPTL or a channel. And if I get that setting wrong, I have the chance of getting me a, a incorrect or incorrect certification feedback. On the XG, I don't worry about any of that. I simply connect it and test the cable, whatever that cable is built as. So let's go ahead and connect over here. This is the patch panel side of these MPTL links. Over on the camera side, we'll simply pull the mod plug out of this cable run and go directly into the remote end, like so. And let's go back to the tester. We don't have to look for the standard. We don't have to look for anything like that. We simply pull up a list and test. Okay, so we've got a, a completed test here and we've got a one gig cable. The actual link, again, is an MPTL, but I did not have to input that into the tester. Again, the NetExpert doesn't care what the link is. You don't have to define it. You don't have to pull the standard down. It's simply testing whatever cable arrangement you have for one gig compliance to IEEE standards. You can see the results here. All four pairs are wired correctly. There is no shield. You get the length of each pair. You get the skew of each pair, signal to noise ratio of each pair. And then we run a BERT test, and there were zero errors on the BERT test. It's a good cable, ready to support that camera at the end of this cable run.